Hey everybody, Marcos Vegas here standing with Freddie Roach. We're at the Wild Card. It's a packed day, media day, everybody here from Manny Pacquiao. And I, I read an interview uh, in which Manny said he wants to throw like a hundred punches uh, around. And I'm curious, why does he want to throw so many punches in a fight against Bradley? Because I've, I've told him he wasn't busy enough in the first fight because he only fought one minute of each round. And uh, I told him he has to fight three minutes of every round to be dominant in this fight and to make sure there's no close rounds, you know, or, you know so he, he, maybe he didn't do enough because, you know, the first fight, it got so easy for him after for after six rounds, he started fighting just the last minute of every round. He just was, you know, was content that he was winning the rounds, but the judge didn't see it that way, you know, so he needs to be more dominant in this fight and maybe much busier. And uh, I'm, I'm really I'm really happy that's in his mind because when he wants to do that, he can. He did in the Rios fight, and uh, you know, Bradley's a little faster than Rios, but mm, not much better though. And I think he, he doesn't, like, he's not a runner where he's gonna, like, I, I think there's traps we can set, we, we can catch him on the ropes in the corners. He, uh, so he's a durable guy, yes, but the thing is, if, if we throw, that number of punches and land, land that many, I think, I think we'll knock him out somewhere along the way. Looking at this fight also, you've said that you want Manny to be aggressive like the young Manny Pacquiao. And it's been a theme since, uh, I believe, Margarito that we want to see Manny like that. But in this fight, you guys can risk being hyper aggressive because of Timmy's punching power. It doesn't give you guys that much worry, right? It doesn't give us much worry, but the thing is, you know, if, he, if anyone gets hit with the right shot, you know, they, they can go. So the thing is, um, we're really not worried about his punching power so much, but the thing is, we can take a little more risk and chances. But to be honest, we, I don't really want many uh, doing that so much and even getting hit at all because I like, like the Rios fight. He was in and out very fast combinations. That's how I want to fight in this fight is quick combinations, don't stay in the pocket too long, get out, make a miss, get back in. So we have a good game plan down and he, he's perfected it and I, I, think, uh, I, I think it's going to be great for this fight. Looking at the news coming out this week, uh, what was your reaction when Bradley said the reason why he hit his ankles was because he wasn't wearing any socks? Well, I went out and bought some socks for him, so uh, I, mean, I sent him to his president. He just, uh, you know, anyone, like Mike Tyson told me about, you know, I said, Mike, do you really fight with no socks? He said, what are you, crazy? He said, I just like short socks. He, he said, I never fought barefoot in my life. He says, I said, yeah, a lot of people think you do and copy that. He says, they're idiots then. So it wasn't that good a move. And uh, the thing is, it, it wasn't our choice. It was his choice. So, uh, you know, I don't think socks have a big issue in, in, in this book. I, I don't think that's a magic cure for him. Looking at Manny, he's had such a long career. He's accomplished so much. You talking to him, has he told you what he still wants to accomplish? Uh, does he still have goals left in boxing, or at this point he's just fighting to just fight? No, he says he's, he's hungry to be the best. He wants to be number one pound for pound again and just be at that level. And uh, he still loves what he does. He still knows what he does best. When he becomes a better politician than fighter, I'm sure he'll go the other way. But the thing is, that hasn't happened. Uh, he's still a very good fighter. His work ethic is great. He works. He's still the hardest working fighter I've ever seen in my life to this day. So. Does you said that he he's working to be number one pound for pound? Does he not consider himself number one? Well, a lot of people don't, uh, you know, because of uh, you know, the, the the loss of Bradley and the knockout loss, and uh, so you know the thing is he doesn't think he's number one right now, but you know he he knows he still has to climb the ladder a little bit more. Freddie, can't wait. It's coming up two weeks away. I know you're fine-tuning Manny. You're going to have him in shape. It all goes down Las Vegas, Nevada at the MGM, April 12th on HBO Pay-Per-View.